Hello everyone, welcome to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. Today, we are going to start the first, first course of my channel, which is the Signal and System. And this is the first video of my course. Before starting this course, first I would like to introduce about myself. I am Dr. Mohan Vansal. I did my PhD from IIT Kanpur and MTech from NIT Kurukshetra. Currently, I am working as an assistant professor at BITAP University. Now, we start a signal and system course. In this course, we will cover we will cover entire thing of the signal and systems. So we start from the uh, start from the signals and systems. Then we will discuss about the classification of signal, some basic operations of signal, and inventory signal. Then we talk about the systems. After that, we will discuss about the linear time invariant systems that is used to perform some operations. Then we will discuss about the Fourier series and Fourier transform, which is continuous time in nature. And Laplace transform is used to overcome the limitation of the continuous time Fourier transform that we will discuss. After that, we will discuss about the jet transform, which is that which is used to overcome the limitation of the discrete time Fourier transform. Then we will talk about the sampling and infinite impulse response. So just today we start our talk on the introduction to signals and system. Before starting this course, first we should know about what is signals and what is system. So in the motto of today's class is to only introduce about the signals and systems. A signal is nothing but a set of data or which contains some information which is a function of independent variables. Independent variables are time and space. So signal is a set of data which contains some information and which is a function of independent variable time and space let's see space are x y coordinates or x y z coordinates so time is the one dimensional signal if signal is a function of time that is a one dimensional signal if signal is the function of space that is the multi dimensional signal in an electrical system the associated signals are electrical current or voltage usually we deal with the current or voltage in electrical system if I draw a signal with respect to the time, this is the time axis, which is the independent variable, and this out amplitude of voltage or current. Y axis is the voltage or current. The signal is, let's see, signal is the sinusoidal signal that is represented like this. So here T is the independent variable T is the independent variable on the other end V or I are dependent variable which is functions of independent variable which is function of independent variable time In our daily life, usually we deal with the many signals such as speech signal, music, what we listen, image, and video, what we see in the televisions. So speech and music are a function of time only. Speech signal and music signals are varying with respect to the time. So it is a one dimensional signal and image is a two dimensional signal, which is function of coordinates X and Y. On the other hand, video is a 3D signal or three dimensional signal which is a function of space x y and time t why video is three dimensional signal first we video is nothing what video is nothing but a series of the series of an images so we have some images and that is varying according to the time is a video so first images are function of space coordinates and time series is a representing the video so changing of the images so this is one example, this is one waveform of the speech signal, waveform of the speech signal which is representing the one dimensional signal. This is the one dimensional signal because this signal is only depending only on the one variable which is time. On the other hand, image is the two dimensional signal which is a function of x and y. This is the x and this y axis is the y. So this image is function of x and y and here 
each value value of each image is represent like a pixels here each and every pixels is function of x and y which is representing the value of the x and y here we you can see that the right image which is the ear of the one animal that is given in the left side of the image this is the red box it zoomed zoomed version of that so this image is representing number of pixels which is function of x coordinates and y coordinates now that was the general overview of the signals now we'll talk about the systems system is a device or algorithm which process or transform an input signal to the desired output signal so basically system is used to process some input signal to get the desired output signal like that if we i am saying something in echo is there in noise is there so for that i need to remove the noise i need to cancel the noise in my speech when i am teaching to you so for that we use noise cancellation system so input will be the noisy signal and output will be the clean signal after cancelling the input out input noise after cancelling the noise so this is the system which is used to process the input signal to get the desired output signal so here in this example you can see that we have input signal we want output signal by processing the signal with the help of system so in cell phone system or mobile communication audio is the sound input and output is the sound output there are several examples of the systems one is the audio amplifier which is used to amplify the audio let's take an example if some audio is not audible if audio is not audible we want to make that loud for that we need to use the audio amplifier so audio amplifier is a system audio amplifier is a system which amplifies the input signal to make it loudly radio receiver is used in the rf communication when radio signal comes and it generates some audio signal so this is the system radio receiver is a system which get, which gather the radio signals mobile communication is a system which is used to communicate with others in different locations like that i am at my place and you are at your place so if i want to communicate with you i need to use a mobile phone that is the communication without any physical connection so mobile communication is used to communicate make communication from other locations and microphone basically used as a transducer which is which used to convert audio signal to the electrical signal now we'll discuss about the types of the system one is the continuous time system and another one is the discrete time system so continuous time system is used to process the continuous time signals which is used to generate continuous time signal in the output continuous time system is used to process the continuous signal and it generates continuous time system in the output Se continuous signal in the output similarly discrete time system is used to process the discrete time signal and it generates discrete time signal in the output so here we can see that this is the continuous time system input is the xt output is the yt t is representing here for the continuous time signal continuous time and in the discrete time system input is xn and output is yn so here n is representing as a discrete number integer number always discrete number is represented by square bracket and time t continuous time which is representing in the round bracket so this is the just rough overview about the signals and system so signal is just i would like to conclude what is signal and system in one or two line so signal is nothing but a set of information which is a function of some independent variable like speech which is a function of time image which is a function of space x y coordinates okay and system system is basically used to process the input signal to get the desired output signals system is used to process the input signal to get the desired output signal just like the noise cancellation is a one system which take the noisy input signal and give clean signal and its systems are classified in two category one is the continuous time system and another one is the discrete time system continuous time system is used to process the continuous time signal to get the continuous time signal in the output in the similar way discrete time system is used to process the discrete time signal and generates discrete time signal in the output so that was the idea about the signal and system thank you